to my channel. I hope you're having a good day and today's video I have this tall stack of books here because I'm going to be sharing with you what I personally think is some of the best young adult book series out there. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first book I have is Did I Mention I Love You by Estelle Raskin, I think is how you pronounce her name. And I originally read this book on Wattpad several years ago because that's where this book originated from. It's a really great story, kind of weird because it's about step siblings falling in love, but like, you know, still a good story and I really enjoyed reading it. There's three books in the whole series and then there's also a new book that has come out in the past year where it takes on the guy's perspective. So this is a really great book. It's teen romance and it's not so inappropriate. Yes, there is some language, but it's not like overall like sexual and I think it's really good for you. So my next book is Red Queen by Victoria Aviard and this book is so good. It's a fantasy genre in the young adult world of books and it has to do with this girl Maven who has these powers and she's not really supposed to have these powers because she's considered like the lower class and so it kind of goes over her story of like being known to have these powers and how it affects her and her family and there's this revolution that starts within the book and it's really good and I really suggest this book. So my next book is a kind of an older series and it's Uglies by Scott Westerfield. And it's about people who like when they reach a certain age, they get a surgery to make themselves prettier. And I remember I read this back in the sixth grade and it was really good. I've always loved this series and I think it's really interesting and it kind of goes over this like futuristic concept of what it means to like kind of be pretty and all this and what you do when you don't get the surgery and how if you don't get the surgery you're kind of like banished from society. I think this is a really good book for people who are kind of like into dystopian novels. So my next book series is the Shatter Me series by Tahara Mafi and this is about a girl who was in an asylum and she's in this asylum because she killed a boy because when she touches people she like electrocutes them. It's really interesting and then she's being like kind of owned by this like military force that has taken over the world and she like fights against this force and everyone just kind of like changes within the story and it's really interesting and there's six books in this series and it recently just ended the ending was in my opinion really good and I just like seeing how fantasy books nowadays are actually interesting and not just like science fiction so this is a really good book to read. So the next book series I have is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black and it's about a girl who was kidnapped from the real world and taken to fairyland and she has to deal with the fact that she's kind of bullied by all the people who are actually like fairies in there and she ends up having to fight against these people but then she ends up becoming those people and it's a really interesting fantasy story. I really like how they kind of combine the real world and fantasy and that aspect I think was just really cool when I read this and it was an interesting kind of concept that I hadn't seen before and it's very original in my opinion and I really suggest this book as well. I love the characters in this book like honestly. Cardin, not gonna lie, I kind of envision him as being um I want to say his name is Harry or something like that off of um what is that Netflix show crap the Netflix show Okay, I envision him as being Harry, the guy who's dating Francesca from Too Hot to Handle. And I know it's really weird, but that helped me reading this book so much, even though it's such a great book. So my next book series is Storm and Silence by Robert Thayer. This is once again a book that has originated from Wattpad, because Wattpad is kind of taking over the book industry in my opinion, and it's about a girl who like wants to defy all these like early 19th century rules where women couldn't do this and women can do that. She wants to vote, she wants to work. And it's just a really interesting thing because she like goes and pretends to be a man in order to fulfill her dreams of women's equality. And it's a very interesting book. I like the concept of it about women's suffrage. And it's also romance, which you don't get into into the later books in the series, but still it's a really good book series. So the next book series I have isn't really a book series, it's more of a combination of standalones but they involve the same characters within the different books 
and it's these books by Mila Gray and they're called Come Back to Me is the first one and it always has something like with military characters like I know the first and third have to do with um, guys in the Marines like the girls like falling in love with them and it's just a really interesting book and I loved the concept of like Marines and all of that and it was really interesting it's a really good romance book for young adults and I really suggest these books by Mila Gray. So that's all the books I have for today. I hope this can help you find like a new book to read, especially considering it's summer and there's not always a lot to do during summer. So you can pick up one of these books to read. And that's it for today's video. I hope you like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content. And until next time, see ya!